Morning guys, how are you doing? Gavin here from the Growing Younger team. And if you don't know me, I'm Gavin, I'm a personal trainer. I own a fitness studio called Growing Younger and we help people over the age of 40 get fitter, get stronger, so you can have a better quality of life so you don't actually seize up, end up a life on the couch and you die early, which is not what we want. So one of the exercises I'm gonna talk about today for Workout Wednesday is leg strength, okay? So as you get over the age of 40 and you're hitting 50 and 60 and 70 and 80 and above, 50, your, your, uh, my words, your leg strength declines twice as fast as your upper body strength, okay? That is massively significant. And what happens is as a result of reduced leg strength means you're going to be more prone to slips, trips, and falls. Um, and if you fall over when you're getting a little bit older, certainly if you carry a bit of extra weight, the result can be catastrophic and it can be absolutely life-changing. And when you lose the ability to walk and, you know, have the endurance and fitness in your leg strength, then life becomes very, very difficult. It means you're not able to get up off the couch very easily. Those, um, those walks in the summer that you'd like to do and see the beautiful views and go on holiday and travel, all that gets taken away because you haven't got the fitness and strength and endurance to be able to do those activities. And when you get over that kind of age, you know, we've been, we spent our entire lives looking forward to retirement. Um, and then you get there and you're not fit and strong enough to do it. So this simple exercise, anyone can do, okay? Doesn't matter who you are, you do this on a daily basis anyway, okay? And it's a bench-assisted squat or a chair-assisted squat, okay? So I'm going to use a, a box right here to demonstrate that. So ultimately, ultimately, a squat, okay, is simply you're coming down and you're standing back up. And I get that a lot of people may have knee injuries or they're just not strong enough to do it. If you're carrying 20, 30 kilos, a squat is a very difficult move to be doing, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna break it down a little bit. Anyone can do this, and we're gonna build up that leg strength. This is more of a prescription for you to practice, okay? So if you're worried about your leg strength, this is the video for you. So first of all, we're gonna use this box. Pretend this is a chair, and you're sitting down on a chair, okay? And when you usually get up off the chair, you lean forward, put all the weight onto your knees and then you stand up okay so from the side you're sitting there you lean forward pull the weight and come up okay so what's happening is your legs are not doing any of that work it's your upper body is doing it that is why your leg strength declines twice as fast okay because you're not ever doing it so what i want you to do i want you to sit on the bench and when you decide to get up you've got to practice this habit i want you to put your arms in front of you lean forward let the weight go into the quads and then just stand up okay and then we're going to practice and sit back down again, rock a little bit and come back up, okay? And you're going to do 10 to 15 if you can do that many. If you can't do 15 reps of those, do what you can, okay? Just, just practice. If, if, if three is all you can do, start with three, build up to four, build up to five, build up to six, okay? Because what you're doing is when you're coming into the gym or even in your house and you're doing this exercise, you're building a reserve for life. When you come in and practice squatting, when you practice in working those leg muscles, you're creating a, a, a strength reserve, an endurance reserve for you to be able to do when you're not in the gym and you can enjoy life a bit more. So that's a little bit too easy. You're gonna find maybe a lower, a lower chair, okay? And arms in front of your body, lean forward, take the, take the pressure, come back up and slowly sit back down, okay? So from the side, this could be a chair or a couch, doesn't matter what it is, come back up. And ideally what we wanted to get you to is a point where your legs are kind of parallel, okay? That's, that's something to aim for if you can't get there just yet. Then once you've done that, what we're gonna try and do, we're gonna take you down to a lower place. So now what happens is your hips are a little bit lower than your knees, okay? This makes it a little bit more challenging. So your arms forward, lean, and then come back up. And that's significantly harder on the other versions. But obviously you can build up to this. So it doesn't matter where you start, you can build up to this, okay? The reason why this is so effective is because you can do this multiple times a day without even thinking about it. Every time you get up from a chair to walk to the toilet, to walk to the kitchen, the bathroom, whatever you wanna do, when you're out for a coffee, you can do this, okay? And even if you don't start, look silly, put your arms in front of your body, you can just put your arms by your side and then stand up, okay? Whatever you need to do. But ultimately that's how you're gonna do it. If you, if though, you get to a point where I'm doing pretty well, this is quite easy, and you're gonna grab yourself a dumbbell, okay? And you can hold it, this is obviously a heavy dumbbell, but same, same kind of thing. You're gonna hold it close to your chest, lean forward, and stand up, okay? So obviously this will be a little bit more advanced for a lot of people, okay, and come back up. So that's basically a very simple 
leg exercise that anyone can do regardless of their ability, okay, regardless of their fitness levels. And put it this way, if you only did one of these a day over seven days, that's seven squats, okay? For 365 days, that's 365 squats. And that's more than doing nothing. And that, obviously, that's not going to be enough over time. But if you one, then two, then three, then four, and it's a cumulative effect over time that's going to get you the, the leg strength, the balance, the endurance, everything that comes with it, okay, over time. And ultimately, you want to really be preserving your leg strength. That's really, really important, okay? So if you need some help with your health and fitness, okay, we're the only over 40 gym in New Zealand. Uh, we've got an award-winning fitness studio here that we help lots of people get fit and strong. We have a complete uh, package here. We've got nutrition, personalized fitness programs, physio support, classes, uh, personal training, accountability, got a whole lot, right, okay? Um, if you do need some help, there's some links down below. There could be a checklist. It could be some meals. It could be whatever it is that you think you need at, at the time. But if you like the video, do me a favor. Share the video. Like the video. Leave a comment. Uh, share, uh, no, let more people see this because ultimately, you know, the people who we're helping here they're going to be your partner, your grandparents, your parents, okay, uh, your neighbors. They're the ones that are struggling. And if one or two people get some help from this, it's going to be fantastic. And we can be a bit more of an active, uh, you know, active community, which is good. So that's it for me. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.